We are here at the Mind Valley event and we are speaking to John Lee, investor, entrepreneur, mentor, advisor, and just what else do you not do? <laughs> I do everything that's going to make a massive impact to the world. Oh, I love that. I love that. So one of the things that Vision was talking about in his um, opening kind of speech was about mentorship, right? And I love that you identify yourself as a mentor um, and things like Mind Valley and kind of the community of helping each other. What are some of the things in your experience that you've seen um, as great evidence of mentorship? Well, do you know this, like there's only so much you know. And, there's almost, and, and to get to the next level, you've got to do something different. So either you acquire that knowledge, which takes time, or you've got to be able to do something and find somebody who's already done it. The question is always very simple. What do I want to do and who else has done that? So in my own life, my first mentor in real estate, his name was Jing Tan. And this guy charged 10,000 pounds for two days of his time. I didn't have the money. So I sold my car and I paid in the money. Everyone thought it was crazy. But within a year, I was a multimillionaire in property because he taught me the things which people don't know. And it's what we call specialized knowledge. And that's why people need to have a mentor. That is incredible. So I think most people shy away from the idea of actually paying for mentorship, right? But it is uh, investment into education. Um, what advice would you give to people that are maybe looking for a mentor? Here's the thing, right? You either make them, a lot of people, do, and you're absolutely right, I have a lot of people say, I don't want to pay you know, five, 10,000 for a mentor, right? But they'll go and blow it on a car, they'll go and blow it on a watch, and that's a, that's a liability, it's not putting money in your pocket. So when people think about that, the biggest cost is actually ignorance, right? You're gonna make the money mistakes. So most people that start business, and for those of you watching this, it, that's where most people lose all their money, it's at the start of it. And it's like saying, okay, I want to jump out of a plane. Um, let me jump out of a plane first, and if I survive, then I'll come to you for mentorship. It's not how it works. Like, you've got to invest in yourself. You are your best investment. And the thing with a mentor and a coach is they give you the shortcut to get to the end destination. They've already been through the trials and tribulations. So why reinvent the wheel? Pay someone to shortcut that process. I love that. Um, so you're speaking at the Mind Valley event. Um, tell us, what are you talking about? So the main points that people need to understand is some... On, on TV, they refer to me as the money mentor. And so my, my whole talk here is all about how do we make more money and how do we multiply money? You see, there are, there are three types of income. You have active income, which is what 99% of the world is taught to do. Go to school, get a job, work for somebody else. But we need to convert that into what we call passive income because passive income, you create the thing once and it pays you over and over and over again. So when you do that, you get your time back which leads us to the third one, which is leveraged income. This is what a lot of people do not talk about. I'll give an example. Let's say you buy Tesla for, say, $60,000. If you'd have put the same $60,000, $70,000 into a Tesla stock when it came out, it'd be worth a lot more than just one Tesla. So I'm not, not giving financial advice here. <laughs> I'm not telling people to do that, but I'm just giving that as an example, is, is where do you put your money? Because we work really hard for money. So we have to have money work really hard for us. So it's not just about the hustle, it's not just about just doing business, it's like working smart. That's what my talk is, is, is about. Incredible. And how would you advise people to start, you know, just a normal, an average Joe, nine to five job, he wants to start thinking about passive income, where does he start? You have to look at income producing assets. So what things can you put your money into that's going to return you something that we're not sucking up your time? Think of all the tr traditional ways before the pandemic. We buy a business, we buy premises, we hire staff, we get stock. You're like half a million in before you even start. So what is the alternative? Right now we have something called digital entrepreneurship. I see a lot of people now digital nomads. For example, a lot of people come to Dubai. A lot of my friends are moving here. I say, what do you mean that? Oh, we're a digital nomad. You don't have, any, have to have any physical offices. Um, you just need an idea, have a website. And now you drive traffic using a lot of social media strategies. So that's one way people could do it. Like anyone now watching this can go and buy something at a low cost and arbitrage the price at a higher cost. You can use things like, I mean, there are so many different sites like Patreon. You've got um, YouTube, creator economy. The entire creator economy now is paying money to have you create content. So you don't even have to sell a product or a service anymore. So there's so many different ways in today's world to start doing this without any experience. If you can copy, paste, drag and drop, you can do this. I feel like we've given like multi-million dollar advice for free on DXB today. <laughs> so thank you so much, John Lee. Thank you so much.